On Temptation Island, the bonfires give those who come to the island as a couple a glimpse at what their counterparts are up to. We're reuniting some of your favorites for a bonus bonfire to talk about what they learned in their time on the island. Shari and Javen came to Temptation Island as a couple, and after facing the ultimate relationship test, they got engaged during the season finale. Casey came to Temptation Island with her then boyfriend Evan, but ended up leaving the island single. You're a piece. Temptation Island giveth and Temptation Island taketh away. Time to check in on how they're doing now. All right, Shari and Javen and Casey, I know the world wants to know what's going on with you, so how are you guys now? We're doing good. Yeah, we're in like such a good place right now. I don't know. I know that sounds so like typical and cliche, but like I feel like our love for each other just like keeps growing and growing and growing. Is there more trust for the two of you? Are you guys you got that all fixed? Definitely. I feel like there's a lot more trust. There's no there's like no going each other phones, anything like that. We're so much more mature and like even when I look back at episodes, I'm like I just laugh at myself because I'm like, it's so like cringe because it's yeah. no way that I would ever act now. Ooh, I'm done. Casey, your story is so interesting to me because Evan left with Morgan and it looked like they were engaged and all was good and then he kind of just peace out with on that one, right? Yeah. And then you and Morgan then connected to talk about this and commiserate. So how did that happen? So I always said that like in a perfect world, I hope that he's being real with her, that they're going to end up and it's going to be a happily ever after. But do I think that's gonna happen? Like, no. Like, I know who he is. He's a man of patterns. And like, he just knew that me and him weren't gonna be able to stay together. I provided for him. So where he lived, how his bills were paid, wouldn't be paid for anymore. So he needed someone to replace me. Wait, what? So that's where Morgan came in. Hmm. He immediately left from my situation straight into hers. And as soon as she started asking him, the same things that I was asking, like you need to get a full-time job, you need to get your together. He peaced out. As soon as he left her, she reached out to me, asked me tons of questions. We talked, I answered all of her questions. I was very, very honest with her, straight to the point, transparent. Oh man. That's it. You know, I remember <laughs> when I said goodbye to you at the final bonfire, I said something to you that aired when you were like begging him to see things differently. Yeah. And I said, sometimes we learn lessons that we have to bring to our next relationship. And whoever that guy is, he is He's a gonna lucky be MF. After like what I went through and like I already settled for so long, like I'm never gonna settle again. And I'm cool with that. Like I love myself enough to like thrive alone until I find like the one that's like next level. All right, you've moved from being participants on Temptation Island to being sage experts and mature journey people through the world of love. <laughs> so I need your opinion. I'm gonna show you a clip of, uh, of a couple from season three. And I just want you to vibe it and tell me, is the heart gonna stay together or is it gonna break apart? Okay? I'm excited. So once in a lifetime opportunity and we both are risk takers and mm -hmm. we're both adventurous. adventurous. So we said, why, why not? not? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> I, the thing that stuck out Without to me was the, them both saying, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Whenever they say that, they're trying oh, to break up. They're going there for a once in a lifetime opportunity. They're trying I to feel, feel like, it out. I feel like for me, it was like his reaction to how like her energy was. It kind of yeah. seemed like he didn't really like it. And he was kind of like, like okay, oh, wait, is this really a good thing? Because it kind of, I don't know, she kind of seems really outgoing and like maybe yeah. she would like mesh well with the other guys. I don't know. Personally, my, my reaction when I seen her within like five seconds, I'm like, okay, I don't know if she can handle this kind of tension that she's going to be getting. But for him, he's going to be a bro, I can tell. So you think breakup? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here's another couple for you guys. Let's see your take on this one. Holding someone's hand is flirting. I've never just held someone's hand unless I'm dating them. I can see this is already going to be scary. <laughs> what do you think, Jamie? Oh, it's a wrap. Oh, man. It's a wrap. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Wrong one. Wrong dude, if he wrong. thinks holding hands is OK, no way, dude. You can't be chill with that, bro. <laughs> OK. So uh, are they in trouble or what? Trouble. They're breaking up. Yeah, I don't think it's yeah. no cool. Sorry. All right, here's another couple for you guys. 
no matter how he sees me, he, he will love me no matter what. And he's definitely seen some sides of me. All sides. And I've definitely pushed him, <laughs> you know, to his limits. But I just do feel very loved by Corey, and I'm super grateful for that. Super cute. It's so hard to tell just off of this clip. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Jamin, why really do you say no? Tell. Love don't mean loyalty. Yeah. It takes a lot more than love to be loyal to someone. That's different. But we'll see. All right. Here's another couple for you guys. The issues between me and Erica are the communication. And if we can't communicate, we can't get through problems. And the second thing would really just be that I'm a thousand percent more ambitious than Erica is. It doesn't always feel like we're on the same page. His thing is excellence. And I can't blame him for that. But when I'm giving my best, he feels like it's not the best. Dude, it might be a 0% success rate this love. season. Dave is literally like that, so I feel that's it. why he's... Like, baby, I want you to be great. He's like that. Period. He's yeah. always pushing me. I know hard work, and maybe not working hard enough. OK, I'm always working hard. Pause. Not. You are. <laughs> Pause. Pause. However, Look at you guys. You, know, you know your partner. Sir. But maybe that's her weak point, and she may crack at that, because a dude might come in and play that role, and you never know. No, I can see that for sure. But I really still feel like they may leave together. I'm going to stay optimistic for them. Yeah, for them, I want to have at least me... one couple. One couple? Yeah. OK, yeah. good. I'm staying optimistic. I can't tell you what happens. All I can tell you is <laughs> you need to watch. Bye, Mark. All right, Mark. Bye, Mark. Which couples will survive? Well, there's only one way to find out for sure. Make sure you watch the new season of Temptation Island coming soon to USA. Temptation Island, new season, Tuesday at 10 on USA. Hey, folks, if you like what you just saw and you're thirsty for more Temptation Island videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. If you're just thirsty, call somebody. I can't help you.